It's a good thing the shirt I'm wearing is super lightweight and dries really fast because it is soaked. I literally was able to wring out a couple drops of sweat out of it. <laughs> it doesn't bother me when I'm wearing it or when I'm walking with my pack on. It's just when I take it off and some air gets in there, I'm like, ooh, that's wet. All right, so there's a fork in the road. And it looks like if I go right, that follows the trail proper. If I go left, it's a shortcut. Shortcut or follow the trail. Normally I would follow the trail because I'm pretty sure there's vistas over that way, but we're gonna take the shortcut. Just kidding, I'm going back. <laughs> I turned around. I'm gonna follow the actual BFT trail. We'll see if I regret it, but the whole point of coming to this trail for most people, including me, is to see the vistas and to actually get some sort of reward for climbing all the hills. So to skip a couple vistas, just to save a little bit of mileage, doesn't seem right. Snake, holy Nike, that scared me. I do not see it. It is in that rock somewhere. Oh, I got my heart going. It stopped rattling. And uh, I don't even know where it's at. I'm not even gonna look for it. Aren't we glad we came to see the vista? I've been wanting to see a rattlesnake. I knew it was gonna scare the crap out of me when I saw one. And there's been times when I've been like looking for it. I'm like, I bet there's a rattlesnake around here somewhere. And of course you never see it. And then as soon as I'm all complacent, just trying to film this vista. <sighs> okay. It is a nice vista. All right, I just saw the very back of the rattle go back under that rock. So I didn't see the whole snake, but I just saw the very tip of it slither back under that rock. So I'm gonna keep going. That was a fun experience. Sweet vista, sweet snake. I would have liked to have actually seen it out in, you know, out in the open a little bit, but oh well. Now I gotta go through here. Hopefully there's no more just hanging out in there. I don't know if you could hear the rattle on the camera. We'll, we will find out. But that was exciting. I also just heard a nice crack of thunder, which is weird because it's not super dark yet, but hopefully it was far away. And hopefully it's just thunder, not rain. I'm coming up on nine miles, and my recording says I've been going for a little over four hours. It's 1.30, and if I want to do another seven miles, I think I have plenty of time. Having this Garmin has been cool. I can send out, it's like preset messages, so I have a couple messages. I can just say, just checking in, all is good. And I can do that as often as I want for free. They can actually click on the map and see where I'm at so they can kind of track my progress as I check in. The device itself was expensive and some of the services are kind of expensive, but for what I use it for, it's nice to be able to provide some peace of mind and not feel as bad about being out here and knowing that they don't know what's going on. All right, I am at the intersection of the Black Forest Trail and the Algerine Trail. So right now it is nice and sunny. Still, it got a little bit dark at one point and kind of windy and I thought it was gonna to start to storm, but it cleared back up again, now it's sunny. So I'm still buying my time. Has not started storming on me yet, 
but I need to keep going. This little spring is cool. It just kinda, just kinda comes out of the ground. And then just keeps on going. So there's nothing above it. It is definitely getting darker and I've been hearing thunder more often. I took the time to take some of my spare clothes and put them into a dry bag so that they don't get wet if it starts raining. And I made sure my rain jacket is pretty accessible. We'll keep going, see what happens. Also my GoPro Pratt, my GoPro battery is almost, also my GoPro battery is almost dead. So I'm gonna have to swap that out. I haven't really been filming as much. So I don't expect to run out. This might be a little bit more of a boring video if I make one, because I just don't really have the energy to be creative or funny right now. Getting kind of dark and it is cooling down and there's a breeze. So it seems like something's moving in. I could check the forecast on my phone but on or on my GPS, but honestly, I'm too lazy. It has officially started raining and I am going very downhill. So hopefully it doesn't start pouring because right now it's not horrible. And I don't feel like putting my rain jacket on. I'm soaking sweat anyway. I don't know what it would really save me other than my head, I guess. I just passed a couple people, some older guy carrying a crap load of gear. I think they just did the whole trail. They're about to finish up. That man told me that I do not want to do that climb today, but <laughs> uh, we're gonna try it. And I'm about to walk out into an open vista and it's about to rain harder on me. So I'm gonna put my rain jacket on. All right. The whole reason I brought this hat so I can put it under this. Oh God, I need to tighten this up. Well, I'm sure this would be a beautiful vista if it wasn't pouring. Well, I'd love to stay and enjoy it, but uh, I think I'm gonna keep going. Oh God, it's raining harder. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of tree cover to protect from the rain. I do not know what my plan is. It is, I think, really early for me to just stop. Like, I feel, I feel good enough to keep going. Like, I would like to go to the top of that hill. I know it's going to be a pain. And if it's raining the whole time, it's going to suck. But I would like to do it. My only hesitation is if it starts storming really bad, I don't know if I want to be climbing up that hill. We'll see. It is 2.53. I don't even know how many miles I have because I put my phone in my pocket. Once I get down to slight run, which is probably, I don't know, maybe another mile or so, that should be 13-ish miles. up a little bit it's kind of cool that gives me hope there's some blue what is this And up in here, looks like there's a bunch of cairns, aka rock piles. 
be kind of creepy in the dark if you didn't know what it was. Gotta keep going. This place is cool though. Well, it has stopped raining for now. Stopped to take off my rain jacket and pulled out a snack, and I almost left it there. That would have been sad. Now it's actually kind of nice. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but that rolled in pretty quick. So I anticipate it could happen again just as quick. Still going downhill for a bit. And then once I get to the bottom, we'll see what I'm gonna do. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to the top, especially if the weather stays like this, because it's fairly blue skies right now. I think I've had a peanut butter sandwich on every single backpacking trip I've ever done. At this point, I gotta do it every time. I feel my quads burning. I got enough left in my legs after this that guy I passed said he was heading into the bar at this there's some sort of restaurant slash inn down here in Slate Run part of me was like I mean if it's raining really bad I could just go do that but that actually doesn't sound fun to me at all so I don't know why it even crossed my mind Right now the weather's fine, that doesn't mean it's not going to change. My plan is to find a spot to rest my legs a little bit and then get ready to do that incline. I have done over 13 miles and I feel pretty good. I mean my legs are a little tired after that downhill but can't complain. I forgot to fill up water at the creek, so I gotta walk back over there. I gotta walk on this road for a little bit, but even the road right off the bat, <laughs> I'm going straight up a hill. I think I'm gonna be hurting, but we're gonna do it. And I'm more than happy to be in pain if it doesn't rain. But if it starts storming, this is gonna suck. This trail following the road just never ends. But I feel like I've been on it forever. And it's been super boring, Ugh. and now it's muddy. <sighs> I don't feel like lifting my leg that high. Ugh. I believe from here, I have about a mile and a half. It is 4.20 p.m. 
according to my phone, I have gone 15.7 miles. We're going right off this road and then immediately up this hill, which starts pretty steep pretty quick. It's pretty steep, but not too crazy yet. Stopped to catch my breath at one point. But there's switchbacks cut into the mountains, so you just kind of go back and forth on the way up instead of having to go straight up it. So that's nice. You guys are not getting any more shots of me walking away from the camera today. Because there's no way that I'm walking away just to come back. Too late in the day. I am too tired. I got up at 5 a.m., drove over three hours, been hiking for seven hours. There's just like a big old rock formation up there. I don't know if I have to go on that or I'm going around it. Bugs are starting to come out. I don't know if it's because I'm getting sweatier or if it's just the area. Well, I made it to the first vista halfway up the hill and it is ridiculous. This has to be the best, 100% the best vista I've seen here. Best vista I've probably ever seen hiking. It's just like a panoramic view. This is definitely one of the reasons I wanted to do this tonight instead of in the morning because it would not have looked this nice in the morning. I probably It probably would have been like foggy or crappy. I'm gonna rest up a little bit. I've just been kind of hanging out already, so obviously slowed down quite a bit just resting, but this is a worthy place to spend some time. Farewell to the beautiful vista, but I need to get going. It is almost five o'clock, and I don't really know what's up ahead. If you're wondering, Josh, why are you just filming the ground? Well, I'm holding the camera straight. The ground is just right in front of my face. It keeps going up. I think I might have made it to the top. It seems flat. Man, I really lucked out on the weather. I made the decision to come here full well knowing that there's a high chance of rain, but it was really just that one little spout for 30 minutes or so, and it's been awesome since. Another climb means another vista. I was just talking about the weather and now I'm hearing thunder and it's pretty dark over there. <laughs> Turns out there's a sweet campsite right here. Nice fire ring, some benches. There's enough room for my tent. I mean, it's a little rocky, but I can make that work. You got this view. The only problem is it is dry, meaning there's no water sources here. And also if I camped here and it did storm, I'm like super exposed. So that would make me a little nervous. Um, but maybe I will head over to the pond where I plan on staying, see what it looks like there. And if it's really lame 
maybe I will consider actually just hauling water back here if it's not very far. Because, you know, what's another mile? <laughs> so my legs are obviously tired, but the thing is you just kind of get used to it. And now that I'm on flat ground, I feel like I can just keep going. Oh, as I trip over a rock because I can't lift my legs. Approaching the pond, that was my backup plan. It only took me 10 minutes to get here. It was about a half a mile. So I don't think it would be that bad to haul water back to that camp spot. I just can't decide if it's safe. That is weird how clear that water is. Very nice flat ground for a camp. Considering calling this home, the sky is getting gray again. So I'm not really sure that I want to be messing around. I'm also considering texting someone with my GPS and asking them to check the forecast for me. Maybe I'll try that, see what happens. All right, I just heard a nice crack of thunder that was not that far away, so. I'm not messing around, I'm just going to set up here. did not really get to set that up right. I guess we're about to test how waterproof my tent is. Hopefully it's just a flash storm and it goes away and then I can like go back out and adjust everything. And I didn't get to tighten it down. So with that much rain coming down, I, it might start to get loose. One of my stakes came out because I couldn't get it in. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. Hope that it stops enough I can go out and fix everything. But there's water pooling everywhere. I'm concerned with this collapse it might start to get water in my tent. All right, this is how I'm trying to keep that corner of my tent up <laughs> right now. I just shoved my trekking pole up in there. I'm pretty sure this is gonna pass. It's just a matter of how long and how wet. I think the rain is slowing down. But there's still a lot of thunder and I've seen some lightning. I pretty much packed up all my stuff. Uh, I shoved it in my bag just in case for some reason I need to grab it. Like if this thing collapses or something and I need to get out. I have all my stuff packed up. But right now I'm just waiting. I'm just sitting here hoping the rain stops so that I can get out and fix my tent. I was able to get back out. It's still raining, but it didn't seem too bad. So I just put my rain jacket on and ran out there. So I'm gonna dry off the inside of the tent and then wait and see what happens. Just hang out. And then once I am a little more confident and everything's good, I would like to go back out and tighten things down one more time if it stops raining and then I'll get out my sleeping bag and all that stuff. I am not really sure how good I'm gonna sleep because of how freaking noisy it is. A little bit of a letdown on the ending. 